The reason why I chose the uh, Design for Digital Media course on Scarborough campus was uh, it really has everything about it. You know, you get to do everything from animation through to 3D design, 3D animation, uh, graphic art and design, film producing, as well as, uh, as, well as all the theory about it as well. Uh, and you get to do all that by the sea, so it's a good location. Students studying digital media at the University of Hull Scarborough campus come from a wide variety of backgrounds. Some are from a more arts background, some are from a more science background. Now, these different backgrounds are mirrored in the programmes we offer, such as the BSc in Web Design Development or the BA in Design for Digital Media as examples. Now, these degrees are obviously specific for those students. However, it's where these students come together which is where the really interesting stuff happens. Now, in digital media, we have a variety of programmes ranging from the very creative to the very technical. On the very creative side, we have design for digital media and digital art. On the very technical side, we have web design and development. In between the two, we have another program called Digital Media Studies. Now, we also have two other programs, Media Performance, which combines the best of all the uh, other disciplines involved in the School of Arts and New Media. And we also have a program called Computer Music, which focuses on the technical ends of music production. Well, the modules are very, very different from, uh, from each other. I mean, I never thought I'd be doing web design, and but you never thought you'd be doing I'm graphics. doing a lot more digital graphics than I thought I would be doing, but it's, it's good and it's all skills to be able to take away for a job in the future. I'm doing web design, so I do want to be like a web designer. Um, whether I want to be working for someone or working for myself, I don't know, but either way, I'm pretty sure this course will give me the skills I need to take away to do either. The mixture of creativity and technology which is present in the School of Arts and New Media is also key to Scarborough's new flagship media centre, Wood End Creative Workspace. We have students who have graduated from our school finding employment within the Wood End Creative Workspace and really appreciating that that balance between the creative practitioner and the, the technologist is something which is important, which they experienced in the school and they're now experiencing in the workplace. Uh, while at university the course involved a, a years long industrial placement which I took at at Save9. Uh, Save9 is a, a local IT and communications company based here in Scarborough. And Save9 uh, have actually offered me a job and taken me on full time since graduated. So from the moment of leaving university, I've been in full time employment. Scarborough offers an uh, intimate experience. It offers um, the sort of place where the staff are going to know your name, where you're going to know everyone in your group. You're not going to be sitting in a great big lecture hall with 400 other people. You're probably going to be sitting in a lab or a rehearsal room or a classroom with 20 or 30 people. We've just refurbished two labs. Um, the principal lab that we've refurbished has now got 31 new iMacs in there, which run both OS X, obviously, and Microsoft Windows. We have a fairly wide range of software on there, but the principal stuff that we have is the latest sort of creative suite software that's on the market. They've all got uh, an absolute ton of, uh, of industry standard software, everything from Maya uh, through to the Adobe Creative Suite. Um, so you're not really, uh, you haven't really got an excuse not to be getting on with your work because all the stuff's here and it's all industry standard. So. We are encouraged in the School of Arts and New Media to use innovative teaching practices. That means uh, trying new things looking for new ways to teach our students effectively. In this case, it's using digital media to teach digital media, and we've been very successful in this. The really good thing about our design programs is that we don't just focus on learning software. You can learn software anywhere, and we teach our students software, and that's fine. But what we really concentrate on is teaching our students to solve the creative problems, to combine different things, to combine the visual image, to combine the printed word, or any of a million other things, to solve that creative problem. Being able to solve problems is what's valuable in the industry, and that's what employers are looking for. Lots of students ask us, you know, what, what's the best A-levels to have done um, in preparation to come on one of our digital media programmes? Well, the answer to that is, is not really that clear. Come here if you're really excited about doing something which is uh, creative, uh, which engages your imagination, and which might have a bit of technology going on in the background that you also need to get mastery of. The course is really varied. Um, it had a really good mix of like Photoshop work, graphic design, um, and taught me all the software skills I'd need for industry, but also gave me the chance to be really creative, and that's what I wanted. 
Um, I would say Scarborough campus is it's very friendly. If there's any doubts in your mind, just come on one of the open days and you'll be sold. Met a lot of good friends really quickly, so yeah, Scarborough's just perfect. <laughs>